this will end badly. I mean, like yeah. with, with meaningful destruction of value. Hello, guys. Today, our guest, Mark Yesko, a hedge fund manager and market analyst, explains why liquidity is the core issue of the current bearish momentum in the economy, why one more rate hike could be possible, and his analysis on inflation, recession, crypto, Bitcoin, and more. Also, don't forget to smash that like button if you find our videos informative and valuable. Your feedback is crucial in shaping the future of our channel and helps us understand what content resonates with you the most. The Personal Consumption Expenditure PCE, Price Index, the Federal Reserve's preferred measure of inflation, rose 4.4% year-over-year in April 2023 up from the 4.2% surge in March and above the expected 4.3% rise, the U.S. Bureau of Economic Analysis reported Friday. This data point suggests that inflation is showing symptoms of stickiness, boosting projections of further Fed increases and supporting the FOMC's indications that borrowing rates will have to remain high for longer. Simultaneously, the BEA reported that personal expenditures increased at a 0.8% monthly rate in April, up from a flat reading in March and well above the 0.3% predicted. Personal income climbed by 0.4% month-on-month in April, matching the predicted 0.4% growth and accelerating from the 0.3% increase in March. Airports are full. I mean, full. So all this talk about, oh, we're on the you know, precipice of a recession. And look, I've, I've even been there saying, look, the, the data doesn't look very good, but GDP now, uh, even though consensus is at zero for Q2, GDP now is almost at 3%. So I, then you got the NVIDIA non, nonsense, blow off, whatever, but that's, on the margin, right? <laughs> there is money going into to risk assets. And that's interesting because you say, well, wait a minute, if they're pulling liquidity, liquidity out of the system, where's the money coming from? That's, that's, the, that's the one part of the riddle that I haven't been able to really solve. Their measure of global liquidity has turned up pretty sharply. Now, most of that's China, but not all of it, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a bunch of other central banks that have backed off the, the hiking cycle. And I don't know. It's, it's just, now, are there still problems? Cool. Real estate, problems. Commercial real estate, like office real estate, there's some, there's some pain coming. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a perfect example. Now, my pain's 18 months away, but there's zero probability I'm renewing my lease in 18 months. Zero. And I have a big ass lease. I, I, hate, I, hate, I hate that, but you know, because <laughs> people have changed. People don't want to come in the office anymore. You know, we've kind of changed our, our focus. So we've we haven't downsized like laid people off, but you know. We're now focused on digital assets and, and being a venture capital fund. And venture capital funds are not as big as, you know, an asset management firm designed to service a wholesale distribution strategy. So, you know, we've had people go do other things and, and not replace them. So zero chance I'm going to renew that lease, despite the fact that I, I love my office. I yeah. spent a lot of time and actually a lot of money. Um, building it out, but you know, is what it is of decimation in the regional bank stocks. I mean, a lot. And so now, do more need to go under? You know, and I guess you know, I, I didn't follow the whole story because I was on an airplane. But New York froze some assets from KeyBank and um, Capital oh, One. Nice. That's mm -hmm. that's not good. Right. I yeah. mean, and something about, I don't know, they were trying to spin it as economic 
what do they call it? fairness? Like, no, 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 that's, that's socialism, communism. By the way, and I, I don't want to go all the way down into, although the wall is red, so we could talk about red. Um, two things. One, has anyone seen this uh, picture of the 10 planks of the communist manifesto that's no. been going around the internet? Mm -mm. Holy crap, Michael, look, look at my feed from yesterday and you, you go down and read them and it's like if I can grab it. abolition of property rights. And, you know, and you just go down the list and, oh my God, that that's like seven out of 10 of them are right now, right here in the United States. Mm -hmm. And this one was crazy. And I, I retweeted it with a, with a asterisk because I don't speak Russian, but there was a video of Putin giving a speech and a guy translating it in real time. And he could have been saying stuff that wasn't true, but you know, people came back at me and said, no, that, that's actually an accurate translation. Basically, Putin was saying that, you know, this whole wokeness thing is not new. Right? So that, that's the 1907 Bolsheviks, where down to gender and all this stuff, you know, the idea of family was abolished. I mean, what? That was that was very, and I haven't studied enough history to know how how accurate that was, but it was a very uh, interesting and enlightening speech. Okay, number one, abolition of property and land and the application of rents on said land to public purposes. Mm. Okay, heavy progressive graduated income tax, abolition of the right of inheritance. Okay saying that you shouldn't be able to pass it down. Confiscation of property of emigrants and rebels, right? Freezing the assets of those you, you disagree with. Centralization of credit in the hands of the state by means of a national bank, okay? With uh, uh, exclusive capital and an exclusive monopoly. CBDC come to mind? Um, centralization of the means of, of communication and transport in the hands of the state. Uh, you know, the Restrict Act, right? If you have certain apps on your phone, you're, you know, an enemy of the state. Uh, extension of factories and um, things. Um, equal liability to all labor, right? Everybody's the same. Just a gross income. I mean, a universal basic income. Um and then the last one was free education for all children, uh, abolition of children's factory labor. That's actually a good thing. Um, and uh, but I, I don't know, that, that doesn't sound very dissimilar from what's coming out of Washington. Texas Instruments, 154. So the amount that it added yesterday was more than each one of those companies. It's just, it's just kind of crazy to me. And No, 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 it's not crazy. It's stupid. I mean, it's literally stupid. I mean, think about this. This company makes $1.4 billion in profit. Yeah. That's, it's not, that's not nothing. Yeah. But you can't, you can't pay hundreds of times earnings for a stock. But see, this is no longer a stock. It's now a meme. It's like Tesla. It's and when when the day trading masses, armed with their you know free money from the state that they have parlayed into something, look, it this will end badly, right? And I'm, I'm not going to say what day. I mean, maybe yesterday was the peak for for Nvidia. Who knows? But this will end badly. I mean, like yeah. with with meaningful destruction of value. And look, Tesla's on its way, right? Tesla's down 55% from the peak and it's going to go down another 50, 60% from there. And it'll have bounces along the way. It's like a rubber ball bouncing down a set of stairs. Each bounce is higher. That's just kinetic energy. But the end of the trip's a bad place because once the narrative goes away and once people have to focus on the reality of the numbers, it's over. And yeah. it's not over yet for, for NVIDIA, but I, I, and again, I'm, I'm not going to claim that 
our little company chain reaction is the NVIDIA killer. But chain reaction has a, a chip design for something called a 3PU, which is a privacy pr protecting unit, uh, which would obviate the need for many, many, many NVIDIA chips. And um, we'll see. Have you heard anyone talk about the electricity and energy use for AI? I, that's, you know what, Mark? That's such a good point. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Now, why, why would that be? Because I guarantee you, <laughs> guarantee you, it's orders of magnitude more than Bitcoin. Mm. We have congressional committees trying to pass bills against energy use for Bitcoin mining. Mm -hmm. But AI, not a peep. Mm -hmm. Not a freaking peep. Give it time, though. It might. <laughs> it might. I mean, I, I look. I I don't know how much you you play with with Chat GPT, but I do. You know, I was I was bored the other night. Stacy was watching some show on TV, and it was like not my thing. And so I was just sitting there putting stuff into Chat, and it's whirring away, wasting energy. I you know that was, and you know just it, it further. And I've said this, it's not very good. I mean, it's mm. really not very good. It's mm. it's really good at a couple things, like you need a thank you note or a or a blog post that's dry and not very fun. Mm. It's your it's your tool, but it has no personality. It has no. I mean, I don't know if you've if you've actually read the stuff that it, it prints. You know, we, and actually like come back to it. It's just like bleh. It's like cardboard. Mm. There's just no. There's no soul, right? Yeah. But, but then for, for, for stuff that you need accuracy, it's horrible, horrible. Yeah. Traders raised their expectations for an interest rate hike in June, now assigning a 46% market implied probability of a 25 basis point rise, up from the 42% chance priced prior to the PCE print. A hike by the end of the July meeting is priced in at a nearly 70% probability. Sharing is caring, and we encourage you to spread the word about crypto highlights. Tell your friends, family, and fellow crypto enthusiasts about our channel. Together we can create a thriving community of individuals passionate about cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology.